So you just bought a jaw harp or Jews harp, mouth harp, whatever you want to call it. Where do you want to start from there? Well, your first step in playing the jaw harp is being able to hold it. Now I'm just going to do a standard or what some people call a two or three point grip. I'm going to take my middle finger and my thumb and I'm going to put them pinching the bottom of the frame of your harp. Now we're not going to squeeze it as hard as we can. This is just a light grip that has enough pressure to maintain the harp up against your teeth. The next step is taking your top finger and placing it on top of the harp. Now different harps come in different shapes. You might end up with your top finger resting across it like this. You might feel more comfortable with your, with your finger resting completely on top, in front, a little behind. However works out best for you. Just experiment around and see what grip works and is what's comfortable and effective for you. But gripping in between the thumb and middle finger we're going to take our top finger, we're going to put it on top. Now, common misconception with the, with the jaw harp is, is most people think that you're biting down on it. No, your teeth are not actually biting down on it, more as your teeth, imagine this is the front of your teeth, is resting against the, the back plane of the harp with a slight space. That space in between there lets the reed travel in between your teeth. Now what I want you to do is take our standard grip, we're going to grip it, thumb and forefinger on, thumb and middle finger on bottom, and your pointer finger on top, we're gonna to place it up against our teeth, resting. Don't put a whole lot of undue pressure up against your mouth, because that's going to cause your jaw to fatigue, and it's also going to close the harp a little bit. So, take your standard grip, putting your teeth up against the harp, we're gonna pluck, we're gonna start by plucking inward. Straight and true. Use your finger, move your whole arm at first. There's many variations on how to pluck the harp, but we're gonna start out simple. We're gonna pluck and move our whole arm inward. We want to keep and pluck on a flat plane with the reed. We don't wanna be plucking down or plucking up. That will result in a click. We're gonna pluck straight back. So pluck straight back with me four times. Now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to pluck straight outward four times. And if you don't get this at first, don't be frustrated. The way I taught myself to play the jaw harp is I was in front of a bathroom mirror playing and watching and sometimes it helps to be looking at a mirror so that you can see exactly what you're doing. If you're getting some clicks, don't be don't be frustrated by this, just adjust your technique till you get it and eventually you're going to find the right technique that works for you. Now we can take our inward plucking, our outward plucking and we can link the two of them together. We'll go outward, inward, outward, inward. Now there's many, many other things you can add to the jaw harp. This is just a simple beginning. We can add breathing to the harp. Breathing as you pluck, breathe outward, inward, outward, inward. You can move your tongue to different parts of your mouth. Actually, we're going to waggle our tongue up and down. You can use vowels and consonants. We're going to say the consonant T. D. We can use vowels like A O E O I O. A O E O I O. A O E O I O. And eventually, we can start linking all of these different techniques together to build a song. Now, everyone's song is going to be different. It's ultimately it's your instrument, your mouth, and your mind that's creating the music. So everyone plays the song themselves. But take these simple techniques work on them a bit, start to weave them into a song and see what you come up with. I'm going to take those simple techniques and I'm going to come connect them together here. There at the end, all I was doing was saying vowels. A-O, E-I-O, E-A-O. Now 
want you to take these techniques, implement them into your own music, and just see what you come up with. And good luck with your journey into the jaw harp. It is so much fun. You're going to have a ball. Well, that's going to be it for Beginner's Jaw Harp. Like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out.